Hey, I'm Rufus. Thought I could let you guys know what we've been up to this December. Did you finish the number at all? Uh, I'll get it. Why don't you just finish the one that you started? Firstly, we went on a little trip to Dorset. We stayed in this huge mansion called St. John's House. Mm -hmm. Nice! We played games like Pocket, which Dad definitely didn't let me win to prevent a meltdown. Whatever! Ah, yes. Ricky wins! Well done, give me Can I get five pounds? Five pounds? No, you can't. Oh yeah, and Grayson and Dad had an epic game of table tennis. It's like a round We went fossil hunting on the Jurassic Coast. I found a massive one. It was bigger than my head. I found it. Did you find it yourself? Yeah, we went fossil. Well done, really. That's incredible. And this is a bird. That's a stick. No. After we did a bit of fossil hunting, and Mum told Dad to stop fiddling with his drone. We took a walk into town and found this really cute little bookshop. It was rammed full of old books, old maps and antiques, and even some problematic toys from the 1960s. Mum bought a Marvel Pessimum Mortar for six quid. She was well happy about that. She kept on banging on about how she's wanting one for ages. But they're really expensive for Amazon. I hope when I grow up, I never see stuff like that. God. On the last night of our trip to Dorset, Chris and the Nighters decided Mum and Dad definitely didn't need any time alone. So after they put us to bed, we decided to come back downstairs and help them to eat all of their chocolate. I got the only white chocolate. Oh, that's a boy. After we got home, we woke up to a blanket of snow draped over Bath. Dad says he hadn't seen this many snowflakes since Elon Musk last tweeted something. Dad says that's satire and it's really funny. After a few days, all the snowmen melted and things start to get normal again. My dad is still getting in the freezing cold weather, mainly because he thinks it gives him some sort of quirky personality trait. You're crazy. <laughs> We're all crazy. He says he does it because it's the only way he can feel something in his 40s.
love this number. It feels like everything is asleep, dreaming away the gold. Mum says everything in life have, has a pattern to it. And December is a great reminder of that simple fact. She's always saying stuff like that in these days. Dad says he's reading too much a setting. I hope you're having a great December. And if you're not, then just remember, one day you can wake up and your whole world is covered in snow. And the next day you wake up, it can be normal again. You never know what you're going to wake up to. And that's one of the best things about life. It's terrifying and temporary and peculiar and wonderful. You only need to look up from your phone to see it. Oh yeah, and we picked up our Christmas tree from the gardens. Not before it put the drama on. This one. Do you like that one, Yuri? Yeah. This one. Okay. This one. What are you grumpy about? I don't want this one. This one. What about this one? This one's nice. This one? Yeah. Yes, please. Thank you. Thank you. You crank those. It tells you how old the tree is. Can you see the rings? One, two, three, four, five, six. Is it about seven? Seven. Eight. Eight, is it? Well, well, same age as you. Eight. Yeah, well done. Good work, work GG. <laughs> A bit more. We put up all the Christmas decorations and had a Christmas party. Yay! 